Wow. So it's called a jeepney. Wow. Yeah, beautiful. it's just a model. And it's matching, it's matching what you're wearing. Yes, very good. That's very important to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, my boy High Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? OMG, guys, you won't believe who we're going to meet now. Well, I'm sure you guys see it in the title. We're going to meet the Groanings now, guys. In case you guys um, are just joining us and you haven't seen our past vlogs, um, you might have seen a vlog from back in the during the pandemic when I managed to Skype with the Groanings, and that was a whole other story. Um, when the mom of the son of Matt Groening, or the wife of Matt Groening, um, Augustina messaged me because their son, Nate, loves the Ants Canada channel. Um, and we've just been zooming um, on and off since then. And guys, we're finally here in LA, in West Hollywood, and we're actually gonna meet them today. So that's gonna be fun. Not sure if we're gonna meet Matt, I would love that. But we are going to meet Augustina and Nate today and possibly do a live stream for the Ants Canada channel, which is super exciting. Anyways, guys, going to meet the Groanings! OMG, this is so crazy, guys. I grew up watching The Simpsons. They know this. I'm like the biggest Sim Simpson fan. Um, Matt was so kind enough to draw me Simpson art. It's currently like the most valuable art RJ and I own. But yeah, so I'm really excited to head on over there and uh, to meet Nate and talk about ants. He also has several ant colonies, um, so I'm excited to see them. Okay guys, so we're on our way to the Groanings and um, bought them a few gifts from the Philippines. Just, just a bunch of, st of stuff, because as you know, we Filipinos like to bring pasalubong, as they call it. It's like gifts. We've got like snacks here, see? Of course, dried mangoes, one of the most famous of the snacks from the Philippines. Dude, have you guys tried this? It's so good, it's so yummy. OMG guys, I think we're getting close. Um, not sure if I'm going to like vlog the actual meeting just because I want to respect their um, privacy. But if they allow me to vlog in their place, then um, I'll see you in the next shot when we're inside. Oh my gosh, I think we're here, we're here. Okay. Mabu High Squad, we got the go signal from Matt himself. He's just having breakfast, he'll join us after, but I'd like you guys to meet my good friend, Nate. Hello. Hi, Nate. How are you doing? Very well. Guys, Nate is an ant expert. What is your favorite ant species um, to keep? Well, I like uh, Myrmicosystis mexicanus. Yes. Because I, they're just, they, for some reason, they just, I really like them. Whenever I saw like the video from four years ago, you saw about the Thanksgiving one. Oh, you mean on Ants Canada channel? It. Yeah. Yep. But I kept one once, but then, but then they randomly died off for some reason. They're not an easy species to keep. Yeah, they were doing really good for like a few months, but then they randomly died off. But they were really fun to keep. They are. So guys, he's talking about an ant species that, they're called honeypot ants that live in the desert where food isn't always available, but when it is, they completely hoard themselves with the food and then they stuff all this food into workers, special workers called repletes, and then they blow up like a balloon with all this food in them and then they hang from the ceiling. So they're called honeypot ants. Yeah. I wish they were native to the Philippines. I would totally be keeping them. Um, but we are gonna shoot, Nate and I are going to shoot a video for Ants Canada, um, probably a live stream where we're gonna just look at the ants in, in his yard. So I'm really excited. Nate, it's so good to finally meet you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too. Has it been two years? I think so. Awesome. <laughs> Ant love forever. Yes. No. Guys, I'd like you to meet Ashley. Hi. And guys, guess what? She's Filipino. I am. First generation Filipino. You were born in the US. Yes. And your parents are from where in the Philippines? Manila and Bacolod. Bacolod, awesome. So you don't speak Bisaya, you don't speak Tagalog. I Kunti lang. All right. Or which one is the one? Kunti lang. <laughs> awesome. Don't worry. I used to be like you, and then yeah, I moved to Philippines yeah, and picked it up. Progress. Good for you. All right. All right, Nate. You're gonna show me your pets, right? Guys, Nate reminds me of myself when I was a kid. He's got a ton of pets. You're an animal lover, Nate. How how many years have you been keeping animals? Um, we almost got sued for it because he bit my friend. 
Oh, okay. Oh, wow, what is that? Holy! Your axolotl is huge! Look! Except he's it's not, massive. He's not that healthy. He's and he, he looks pretty healthy he's to not me. He's not that healthy because um, he's not very vibrant, like his gills, because someone knocked into the fan and turned it off and it was like floating at the top. Oh, side. no! So his gills are kind of like grayish. I see, yeah. For those of you who don't know, like axolotls like this, look at how big he is. Um, they need cold water. They need water that's like cooled and chilled. Look at your tortoise enclosure. I love it. Yeah, we were, we were gonna move him outside like in a few, in like a month. Cute. Oh, he's but, eating blackberries. Yeah, he, 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 that's not his favorite. He ate all his raspberries, broccoli, and salad. Oh, okay. And what kind is this? Sulcata? This is Sulcata, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. He's oh, cute. There's a leopard gecko. His name's Nepali. Yeah. I see him peeking out. Hi, Nepali. Guys, this is a leopard gecko. They, they smile when they yawn at night. They're like, and it looks like they're smiling. <laughs> okay. Because their face is shaped like they're smiling. Um, Cute. He's very, oh, he's coming out. That, that's his humidity hide. It helps them to shed. I and see. He's, he's gonna go through shedding in like a week. Humidity hide. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, I think wait. he sees you holding that wax worm. Yeah, they, this is his favorite. This always lures him out. It's like oh, they, there he goes. He's coming. He Should likes, we open the top? He likes okay. with new people. He likes to eat near his um, hide. So. Oh my, we're totally likes, feeding him now. That is so cool. This makes me miss yeah. keeping leopard geckos. You kept the leopard gecko? Oh, this? he bit you. Yeah. No, no, he's going in. I think he he got freaked out when he bit your finger. Okay. He's like, that's bigger than is I expected. Oh, there he is. All yeah. right, he Come ate that waxworm, finally. No, that was his third waxworm. Okay. Here's waxworm number two. Well, three, four. Oh, four, yeah. okay. Come on. All right. Oh, he's got a nice coloring. Guys, look at it. It's like stalking prey. Wow. He's gonna jump. Yeah, jump. Wow. Jump. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hi there, lizard. They're like cats. They I love them. Cats. Okay, guys, in the room too is Augustina, the mom of Nate, but she's very shy. Hi, Augustina. Hi. You hear her voice? She's from Argentina. <laughs> guys, we just finished our live stream, and look who joined us. Hey, everybody. Matt, I am such a fan. Thank you very much. You have changed. I'm a fan of yours. History. That blows my mind. Thank you for watching the videos. Um, he just came out to join us. He yeah, was working on Futurama, guys. <laughs> Sorry, you were going to say? I was going to say, your voice is very recognizable. First of all, mm -hmm. I watch your videos a lot, but Nate is always watching your videos. Wow. And so I can hear them as I walk through the room. I hear your voice. And you have a level of excitement and just the, the, the tone of your voice is extremely memorable. Wow, thank you. I appreciate that a lot, Matt. Really, I'm just... I think if ants spoke so English, busy. they would sound like you. Oh, really? <laughs> Guys, we've been chatting all day. And I just want to film Matt opening this gift. This is a beautiful place you have here. Thank you very much. It's gorgeous. Yeah, probably there. Yep. Oh, there we go. Wow. So, it's called a jeepney. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh. It's, it's a model of a, a very common public transportation in the Philippines. Wow, yeah, beautiful. it's just a model, and it's matching. It's matching what you're wearing. Yeah, it's very good. That's very important to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Yeah, this is great. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. I love it. It's our pleasure. I'm going to have to keep it on a high shelf yeah. <laughs> because my kids will <laughs> take it apart. Wow. Yeah. Well, Are there jetties like this on the streets today. Yeah, yes. So is the yeah. transportation of the Philippines? I forgot the history of it. I think it has to do with the World War. Like they, they, they upcycled Jeeps that they used during the war, uh -huh. something like that. And it just became part of public transportation. You'll see them all over the country. Beautiful. Guys, we're eating Mexican. Mm. Guys, they make such good Mexican food here in LA. You speak Spanish, Nate? Yeah. Oh, did you learn it in school? No, my mom. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, of course, because your mom's Argentinian. Um, mostly, yeah, mostly my nephew, when he was littler, he only speaks Spanish, so I really learned a lot from there. I see. But I, I always knew from my mom. Cool. So, Nate, do you see all the people who are watching our video on Ants Canada? Yeah. It's insane. You're a little star. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> How does it feel to be ant famous? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are completely finished this meal and we have been talking nonstop. RJ, we've been here for hours all day. Um, Matt, I think, you know, this is a rare opportunity to be able to sit with a great artist, mastermind like yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I know a lot of um, our subscribers here on the vlog channel are artists, um, whether it be like musical artists or like visual artists, possibly even cartoonists. Um, what advice do you have for anyone wanting to pursue the arts uh, as a career? Okay, two things. Mm -hmm. One, there are a million good reasons for failure. They're great. Your parents don't support you, you don't have any money, uh, uh, you're mm -hmm. not quite as good as you think you should be. Whatever the reason is, mm -hmm. you have to get past those. You have to push those aside no matter what. Because the, 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 their excuses or the, or the explanations are great, but mm -hmm. they're not sufficient. You have to keep going. The second thing is, no matter what the project is, you have to finish it. Because we are full, I am full. I have drawers full of unfinished projects, but they, I can't show them to anybody because they're unfinished. No matter what it is you're working on, your pet project, the thing you're passionate about, finish it and you'll have something to show for it. And maybe it won't work. Maybe it's a failure and you'll learn and you'll do better next time, but finish your project. Wow, I never considered that. Finish anything you start. Just Don't just leave it. Don't leave it half finished. Rough draft, no, no, no. Finish it, and like I said, then you can judge it. Often, you as the artist are going to be more harsh about your own work than right. the outside world will be. That's the other thing, is don't be the judge in anticipation of, of, of what other people uh, might think. Uh, and again, if you have it finished, you can show it. That is amazing wisdom, Matt. Thank you. What's up, my Buhai squad? Good afternoon. There's Nate. Hi, Nate. <laughs> RJ and I are here. Yes, we were invited to um, the beach house of the Groanings here in Malibu. Beautiful, beautiful property. Guys, look at this beach. Whoa. It, look at the waves, guys. They're like surfer waves. Guys, I'm going to try to touch the water. Matt says it's cold. There's Matt. Oh, it is cold. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a surprise. This water would be really warm in the Philippines. Oh, it's cold. Oh, I would not get in this water. <laughs> oh, it's so refreshing though, because it's so hot right now. Whoa. Oh, okay. I just wet myself. Everyone's out because it's a really hot day. It's the hottest day of the year and it's a holiday weekend. That's what Matt says. Mabuhai squad. The water is so refreshing. I'm just in complete awe. OMG guys, I just came in from the water. The water is so cold. Ah! It's so refreshing though. RJ, what do you think of this place? It's nice. You having fun? Yeah. This was really nice of Matt to invite us. Yeah. This place is awesome, so inspiring. It's, it's a paradise here, guys. Great view and beautiful landscaping, guys. I'm loving the plants. Look at the plants, guys. Look at these trees. Look at that bark. It's just, oh, it's such a weird plant and tree. What tree is this? Wow, so different. There's Nate, hi Nate. This pool is awesome. How deep is the water, RJ's asking, because he he's scared to swim. Oh, it's shallow over there. How about here? Wow, Nate, you're, you're a strong swimmer. I have been doing lessons with a family friend who's a swim coach. Oh, okay. You need to teach RJ how to swim. <laughs> RJ, a nine-year-old boy can swim. No, next time I visit LA, I'll make sure I know. I already know how to swim. <laughs> you have a one-year-old sister who can swim? <laughs> All right. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, something with climate change. Something that has to do with climate change? Yeah, I want to help with climate change and the global warming crisis. Global warming crisis? I think that's a very great and objective. And also do stuff with ants on the side. Something with ants? Yeah, I'm always going to keep five. Ants. Love that. I like that attitude. I totally support that. Guys, there are apparently dolphins. Where are the dolphins? I don't know. I just saw two dorsal fins from over oh, by the Oh, really? Pool. Yeah. 
Oh, there! I see them! Oh my, that is so cool! Oh my, cool! Guys, there are dolphins out there. See those dorsal fins? Wait, are those do Yeah, there are yeah, dorsal fins. Oh, that is so neat. Do you guys see that number one spot? That is awesome. RJ, do you see the dolphins? Yeah. Where are they? Oh my, are people out there? Okay, Mabu High Squad, I, it's hard to see it, but... See those? I mean, they look like birds. There are birds that are floating on the top of okay, the Okay, yeah, I see the birds. But where are the dolphins? Way over to the left now. Oh, they're, go they're somewhere. All right, guys, we are back at the hotel. I am completely mind blown. More about that in a bit. But guys, Nate gave us this. Me and RJ got one before we left. Let's see what it is. Ooh. Nate, if you're watching, thank you. That oh, what is this? Oh my, oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at it, it's a hoodie. Oh, and it looks so comfortable. Oh, and short. Oh, these are like shorts with like the like the legging part to it. Oh, it's so nice. Nate, thank you so much. That kid honestly just blows my mind. I he is such an awesome, awesome kid. Actually, the whole family is, guys. Can I just say, guys? These past two days have been unbelievable. Let me let me let me pull out here. Did these past two days just happen? <laughs> Seriously. Did we were we hanging out with the grainings? Seriously. Did that did this happen? Mumble High Squad, are we dreaming? I am so inspired, my heart so full of gratitude over these past two days. I'm kind of speechless. I'm I'm actually wrapping my head around what has just happened in the past 48 hours. Hanging out at the graining residence with Matt, with Nate, with Augustina, all the kids and their team, and then hanging out at their Malibu beach house with all their friends, family, team. This has been so amazing. Mabu High Squad, you know, sometimes life is just so crazy. And um I'm so inspired by them, by Matt. Uh, he's so generous and so down to earth and just so authentic and true and just so cool. You know what I mean? Um, everything I aspire to be. And like someone who's made such a huge impact, right? In pop culture, in the world, and who has such abundance, he is so generous at like sharing it with friends and family. And RJ and I identify with that. This has truly been like beyond words. I don't even know how to explain it, but if Nate, you're watching, if um, Matt or Augustina, if you guys are watching, thank you so much for accommodating RJ and I these past two days um, and welcome welcoming us into your circle of friends and family. We're mind blown by this and completely inspired. And this truly, made my year like i still am not wrapping my head around what has just happened i think i will grasp this the reality of this all when i'm home in the philippines which will be in a couple days so if you enjoyed this vlog guys what did i say adventure after adventure right be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot it helps youtube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences and i know you guys have been doing that thank you so much um, and also be sure to hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabu High Squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Mm -hmm. Now, we will see you tomorrow. We have a couple of days more here in LA before heading back to the Philippines. Ooh, so much gratitude. My heart is so full. Love ya. Bye. Mm -hmm.